no! You have a guy who's on the... No, oh, no, 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 no. Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff and nails. What are we doing today? I don't know. I can't remember. Right now is probably not the best time for a voiceover. I'm a little half cut. A little, a little half. An exact half, but a little half. We're starting with Baby Doll. Um, and I'm showing you it in the bottle, in the little, in the bottle, because it's got a little bit of a purple, shimmery, pearlescent fang going on. Um, so I'm going to do that on all nails. I do do two coats. I kind of make it unnecessary for the first two nails because I cover the whole thing but I didn't know what I was doing this was done on Easter Monday in the evening I'd spent the whole day drinking because isn't that what Easter's all about um so I was kind of just making up making it up as I went along I'm patting on some Alaska and some pink margarita and some neon nights uh, these are all gel perfection colors that you can get at diamondglitters.co.up and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. And I haven't cured any of them. I'm just taking some isopropyl alcohol, which is your prep, cleanse, swipe solution. Um, and I'm blotting off the excess from my brush before going on and just tapping to just kind of merge these colors together. Um, as I say, this was a kind of, I had a rough idea. I had an idea in my head about seven seconds before I started filming um which is a great way to plan um and I knew I wanted something pinky purpley neony galaxy I, you know that that was the vibe um so I'm patting them together I've added a bit more of the neon nights there is that gonna be the next color I put on my nails I don't know it's amazing um it's such a great purple I love it uh, so adding some more bits where, obviously, where you're adding the breathe, whew, isopropyl alcohol, I'm shouting, I'm sorry about that, um, then it waters it all down a bit. So it does kind of take a bit of the edge off the neon. Um, and then I'm just, as I say, patting them together to kind of get this sort of marbly. I was going for a kind of galaxy. Not a realistic galaxy because I don't know maybe there is one out there that looks like that I haven't seen it with my own two eyes yet so I'm curing that and I'm taking some angel paper everyone's still you know all, uh, all going crazy for angel paper and because of the aurora nails trend I figured lots of people might be buying angel paper so let's do let's do some other stuff with it because once you've tried the aurora nails trend then you know you've got all this angel paper lying around what are you going to do with it? So here's some stuffs. I cut it into some strips. I didn't cut all the way to the end so that I could then cut them more. Um, cut them, you see, you see. Don't try and explain anything technically today, Joseph. You will not succeed. <laughs> so I've cut them into some tiny little pieces. I'm taking opal quartz. Oh my goodness, opal quartz. Just, I just, just, it's just, oh. It's everything. It really is. <laughs> um, and I've put the opal quartz on and then before curing that, I'm going to use the wet layer from that to add little bits of angel paper, um, just in random, no rhyme, reason or logic, just random bits. Obviously you can cut different shapes, might, might have been nicer, but random, squarey, diamondy, whatever shapes was about as, as technical as I was willing to go uh, after several glasses of fizz and cocktails. So I'm curing that and I'm taking this gold, uh, no, it's not gold, it's rose copper leaf, which is also from Diamond Glitters. And I'm using the tacky layer. So it has been cured, but it's still tacky. And because the, the leaf is so fine, it will stick to the tacky layer. Um, if you find it doesn't, then maybe you could always actually, here's what, here's the plan. <laughs> maybe half cure 
and then you, you're guaranteed to have a tacky layer um, just in case whatever brand you use why isn't it gel perfection um, then it will be tacky because some some brands don't have as tacky a layers as others or some colors don't leave as tacky a layer as other colors so I'm popping that onto there I'm using the cuticle stick just to press down and make sure it's nice and flat and then I'm going to top it with diamond glass of course of course and cure and then we are going to buff I did it off off oh yeah over there because I didn't want all the dust getting in with the squares of angel paper everywhere uh, so I've buffed that just in case there were any sort of bumpy bits from the ba -ba -ba, brain freeze gold leaf rose copper leaf there we go and I'm now taking um, this brush this is the loop brush from crystal nails um, and I take one deep breath and try and do a 20 minute voiceover. This is something I should really work on. Uh, and I'm, I've done three sort of dots with the brush. So splodge and then, oh, splodge in the same place. A couple of splodges with that, just using the belly of the brush to make that shape. And then I'm going to pull down and just sort of fade it out. So I'm wisping off the end, sort of in a sort of straight line. Um, and then I'm going to pull that down and now I've wiped my brush. So my brush is now sort of free of most product and I'm just pulling it down and fading it out. Um, and that's going to be a cloud if you hadn't already guessed. Hopefully you did. Um, <laughs> as I say, I had had quite a bit to drink when I filmed this. I did do a live intro whilst I was really, really tipsy. And I listened back to it just now and thought, no, <laughs> you cannot put that into the world. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a few of few a few a few clouds, same manner, just getting the circles, the sort of three blobs, and then I'll do a little sort of straight line as it wisps out, and then I'm going to just pull it down, and then I'll wipe my brush and continue to. So I'll pull pull down from the initial dots. And then I'll pull down the pulled down bit. And then I'll pull down the pulled down bit that was from the pulled down bit that was from the initial dots. I know, simples. Uh, and I probably faffed around with this far more than I would have had I been not drinking all day. Uh, so I will keep doing that again. So I'm just showing there my brush is dry. And you can faff around with this as much as you want really but don't stress because once we top coat the you know it's going to look a bit more faded because it's going to have this shiny um you know neon pink purple opal quartz opal quartz it's so good and angel paper under it so it won't be seen as much um so i'm going to flash cure that before i do the next step because you know, it's safe after 74 Cosmopolitans. Flash as you go. <laughs> do yourself a favour. So I'm going to do a dot and some galaxy stars. Uh, a dot, pull up, pull down, pull left and right, lifting off the pressure as you pull away. And then I think I did a couple of those and then I'm just going to add some more dots for other stars and this was definitely a, a an everything but oh no I think the kitchen sink was kind of in there as well because I just thought you know a, a pearlescent base and then a pink and a purple and a white and some opal quartz opal quartz and, <laughs> and then some angel paper and then some foil a uh, leaf or whatever what is it called leaf um, and then some clouds and yeah I do you know why I'll tell you for why um, anyway, I've cured that and I'm topping with diamond gloss. Um, this is a terrible voiceover. My sincerest of apologies. If you don't like it, feel free to mute or bitch about it in the comments and we'll all talk about you in the next episode. <laughs> um, so I've cured that. That is it. You can see all the glowy, lovely, glowy, glowiness underneath. Um, and I'm going to do the same again on another nail. I thought I would. It sped up a smidge. But I thought I'd show it again in case in case you missed something. Oh, 
But look at this. This is Opal Quartz. I just wanted to show you because it's so amazing. <gasps> look. You can see on the black brush bristles, black brush bristles, um, how it's different on black as it is to, than it is on the clear handle of the, no, the clear, what's the other part of the brush called? Handle? I don't know. But it's amazing. So I'm doing the same thing on this nail, but just sped up a bit. Um, where was I going earlier? I was going somewhere. I had my bag packed, shoes were on, keys were in the door. Yes, the reason I went for this sort of design was because I was in the mood to do something, but I thought I need to do something that can't, that has no right or wrong. Um, you know, I wasn't going to try and do a specific something whilst I whilst I was so tipsy. Let's do something that is, you know, going to be somewhat organic um, and is, isn't going to matter. As in, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's no, you have to pat this bit now and this bit there and this bit, no. I'm just patting shit all over the place. So I figured that was a safe bet. Um, we do have a lovers and haters today. <gasps> I know, ba -ba -ba -ba! and it's really funny. So I, I have nothing different to say than what I said about the first nail because it's the same so I'm going to just chat but yes it's, it's funny when I see now um a shitty comment in my notifications because I have I, I have maybe two seconds three at a push where I'll see the comment and have the normal reaction of you you know what's your problem um but then I remember that it means we can have a lovers and haters. So I don't tend to um, get annoyed by them. So now I'll see one and be like, yay, somebody doesn't like me. Woo. <laughs> um, but we did have a, we do have a hater for today. So I suppose whilst I'm doing this, we can have, we can begin our episode off. Lovers and haters, lovers and haters, lovers and haters, ba -ba 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 -ba. lovers and haters. Um, <laughs> our first lover for today is Lonnie McLovin. She says, I love your voiceovers. It's like having a girl talk with your bestie. I love that. Today it's a tipsy, tipsy talk. Um, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody. You're so lovely. Do you know who's not lovely? Our hater. So <laughs> our hater for today is from, oh, I don't think I've cropped their name. Never mind. They're obviously happy to say things with their name on display so why would I not display it and deprive them of the world knowing that they're a d so our message was from Sarah R who said, <laughs> who said annoying intro eye roll emoji are we are we sold on are we committing to the eye roll emoji there Sarah is it is it fitting in the context I feel not so much it's it's somewhat indicative of a kind of you know, oh, typical kind of situation. I think, I think you've let yourself down there. The the lack of gap between the word intro and the emoji more annoying than the intro. Um, so come back, try again. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can't. You've been blocked. Um, but thanks for playing. I guess I don't know. Every comment helps the channel, so I appreciate the support, Sarah R. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I did reply, and then. We had another reply from a subscriber and also one of my friends, <laughs> Ella, who said, I find people with pets as their profile pic are usually quite dull. The dog probably has a better personality in his <laughs> Yes, Sarah, come at me. I'll set my Ella on you. <laughs> if I see a video on YouTube that I don't like, I would never leave a negative comment on it for a number of reasons. One, who gives a shit what I think about it? Two, the sole intent would be to upset someone who's put a lot of time and effort into something. Therefore, three, it's not so much that you're unhappy with the video, that you are happy to publicly declare you're a bit of a b So thanks for bringing that to our attention. <laughs> Like she's back, like she sat through another annoying intro and is here to listen. Anyway, so we're topping, <laughs> we're top, we've topped both of these with diamond gloss after we've done our stuffs, clouds and stars with the Alaska 
and you can see all the nice little loveliness going on um, underneath that buffed surface. So I'm now taking Alaska. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> and when I was filming the set, I thought I should really add something else because otherwise, what what have I got to say? Uh, turns out I've got plenty to say. <laughs> you know I do. Um, but this one I am doing a bit different. I'm just going to do. I'm going to do like a fading French version of it. So where I'm taking the isopropyl alcohol, I'm going to put quite a lot on my brush. Where am I going? I'm going to not blot. There we go. I'm not going to blot as much from the brush and I'm going to work on this top bit and fade it out. So I've added a bit more here and then fade it out so that it kind of just disappears and then we've just got a kind of fading French whatever. I mean, it does look like a bit of a disaster, does it not? But I think it kind of... Once everything's done, it kind of makes sense, does it? What do you think? <laughs> Let me know. Is this a Joe, don't paint when you've been drinking all day set? Or is it is it all right? Uh, so I'm watering down, no, isopropylene down? <laughs> Isopropyl alcoholing this down, um, up even, uh, and then letting it fade out. And then once I got to the point where... I thought, yes, that'll do. I did not put it in the lamp. I carried on faffing. Um, but I, some of it kind of spread out a bit too far there. So I just wiped some off the um, area that's got the baby doll on it. And then I'm going to get that shit in the lamp. And continue with the same thing we've done everywhere else. So I'm popping some opal quartz. <sighs> Why are you so good? Um, and then into that wet, uncured opal quartz, I will add the bits of angel paper and cure, add the leaf to the tacky, top, buff, add some white shit, top. Um, so I suspect nobody's here now because <laughs> I've said all there is to say about it. What else should we talk about? Should we have another lover? Let's have another lover. We had a message from Charlotte Lewis who said, do you have a P.O. box? I've made something I'd like to send you. How exciting. I don't, I still, I know, I've, lots of you have asked. I still don't have a P.O. box. Um, but if you pop me a message on Instagram, then I can give you my address. Now, I don't, I'm not asking for you to send me anything. I don't expect to receive anything from anybody. Um, but she's made something and that, how amazing is that? And I, I, I really want it. <laughs> Give it to me! Um, I know I need to sort a P.O. box out. I have I have looked into it, I promise. But they want to know how, how much mail you're going to get. Well, I don't know. You might not get anything. <laughs> I've no idea. But pop me a message if you want to. <laughs> Ideally, Instagram and not Miss Joe's Facebook business page, only because obviously that's for people to message about appointments. And it's getting a bit crowded in the inbox and it's a bit sort of difficult to find the people who want appointments. Um, so Instagram will be the best way to message me um, if you have any questions or um, just want to say hello. Uh, or comments on here, obviously. I, do, I am still trying to reply to every comment. Um, it is getting a little bit harder because um, it can take, you know a couple of hours sometimes more to reply to everyone but I do like doing it so I will do it as long as I possibly can um yes so was that the end of that sentence I think so um <laughs> uh, so that one is topped and now I go to do something different but I it didn't end up in the set Clemmy was telling me that. Damn! Fazil, oh, I, I had a bit of a moment here. <laughs> Dick. Ooh. And was telling. Yeah. Moment in his life. <laughs> this doesn't end up in the set because I didn't think it kind of went. But look. Opal friggin' quartz. What is. Oh. It's so good. It 
it's so good so I just wanted to show you that but it's not in the set <laughs> uh, but I thought I couldn't leave that you know in a drawer without sharing it with anybody it's amazing so I'm doing the same but this way this side this nail what um <laughs> Rewind. This nail I'm going to do in a sort of curve around the right side and then I do the same on another nail on the left side. I don't show that one because, you know, four times of doing the same thing, pro probably enough. It's probably sunk in. <laughs> so, oh look, now this is the left one. Apparently I'm just switching between the two. So I've sped this up. Um, but yes, doing the left and the right and these will be our sort of border, border nails on the outside. Um, there was there was something I wanted to speak to you all about. What was it? Um, I don't know. But there's possibly going to be some cool stuff happening soon. And if there is, I really can't wait to share it with you all. Um, so stick around. If you do like this video, let's go here already. Why not? We're near the end, I think. Then um, <laughs> you can press the like button. You're here press the like button and if you don't like it press the like button <laughs> uh, and you can subscribe to my channel you know this you know how YouTube works um, to make sure that you know if you press the little ring-a-ding-ding -ding bell that uh, you will know when I upload I, there might be a gap between there might be a bit of a gap between this one and the next one because obviously we're back to work on Monday in the UK uh, nail techs and oh look you know this is what i was talking about once before how you dip your brush and the the polish just kind of uh what's the word sort of what's the word anyway it gets sucked up the brush so you can't just do a dot because it's just it's not at the end of the brush really annoying um but yes we're back to work on monday and i am so not ready uh you know we've only had months and months but still not ready because I've been too busy filming <laughs> um topping this one with diamond gloss how are you all I hope you're all okay um let me know how you are in the comments I love to hear from you all uh and this will be the last one I show you I think unless you need to see it one more time no oh my goodness we're back to opal quartz I was mesmerized this with this I've had it for ages but for some reason I was just oh it's the cosmopolitans <laughs> I was just spellbound by it. Uh, so this is all of them. I hope you like it. The the baby doll, the background colour, looks a bit duller than it is because of the blue tack behind the pop, but it is really a gorgeous colour. Uh, let me know how you feel about this set. Would you wear it? Um, and if you do recreate it, I would love to see it on Instagram. So always tag me. I'm always happy to see uh, recreations. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Um, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye.